Credibility is the quality of being trusted. The quality of being believed in. Shaman Diamond K here, RadioOnFire.com. Of course, the Diamond K Show, daily, 4 p.m. As I said, RadioOnFire.com. So, Tim Tebow. Most people know who Tim Tebow is. He has lost all credibility. He has. And I I was a fan of Tim Tebow. Ultimately. But his thoughts and the words that he said have really exposed him to being a hypocrite. This week, we know that California's State Assembly overwhelmingly passed a bill allowing college athletes to make money off of their names, images, and likenesses, in sharp contrast to the NCAA's current bylaws. Now, the California bill would go into effect January 1st, 2023. The bill is headed to the governor's desk, Gavin Newsom. It's not clear whether or not he's going to sign it, but in a response that is very predictable from the NCAA. The president, Mark Emeritt, sent a letter to the chairs of the state assembly implying that if the bill does pass into law, California schools could be prohibited from participating in the championship games and the tournaments for the NCAA. So, Why would they say that? Why would they do that? In part, the letter said this. We recognize all the efforts that have been undertaken to develop this bill in the context of complex issues related to the current collegiate model that have been subject to litigation and much national debate. you damn right it's been subject to national debate because you guys at the NCAA are pimping out the college athletes. Now, they continued. Nonetheless, when contrasted with current NCAA rules as drafted, the bill threatens to alter materially the principles of intercollegiate athletics and create local differences that would make it impossible to host fair national championships. As a result, it likely would have a negative impact on the exact student athletes it tends to assist. These guys have a lot of nerve at the NCAA. A lot of nerve. Uh, for years, since inception, the NCAA has been robbing these collegiate athletes, robbing them. And as time has gone on through jerseys, through video games, uh, ticket sales, and other uh, merch. They have made billions, hundreds of millions. of. Am I saying too much? But I'm going to say billions off of these students and have paid nothing. Nothing. Um, this, this kind of competitive and economic extortion, it, it, it's... it's it's overwhelming, and it, it's very surprising that we have allowed this to go on for so long. But the NCAA, in their infinite wisdom, thought that by threatening the state of California, basically by saying that your colleges won't be able to get into the finals... They thought that that was a good idea. However, the letter had the reverse effect. The reverse effect. And this thing was passed, it, you know, on now it's headed to the desk of Gavin Newsom. So they thought that they were going to threaten, but that did nothing, but pushed the thing forward. So. The NCAA then sent a letter to Governor Newsom, the governor of California, and they said that it was unconstitutional, and they reiterated the threat that they made against the California schools. 
or their ability to compete on the national level. Now, another person who is not on board with the student athlete compensation in any way is Tim Tebow. Now, Tim Tebow is a former Florida quarterback who won the 2007 Heisman Trophy and a host of other awards in his time at the Florida Gators from 2006 to 2009. Selected in the first round of the 2010 draft by the Denver Broncos, Tim Tebow found traction in the NFL to be tougher. But he was a viral sensation for a while, but more so because of his uh, religious you know, kneeling thing that he used to do, which was uh, called uh, T-bowing. Anyway, uh, he's not for the athletes getting compensated in college at all. He thinks that the NCAA should make millions. The student athletes, the college athletes, they should make nothing. Okay, He said this, the hypocrite said this. I know we live in a selfish culture where it's all about us. But we're just adding and piling on to that. Where it changes what's special about college football. See, these are the talking points of the NCAA. This is what the NCAA says so they can continue to steal money from these young athletes. But on ESPN, he he did an interview with Stephen A. Smith and uh, Max Kellerman. And he said... We turn it into the NFL, where who has the most money, that's where you go. Talking about the universities that have the most money, that's where you go. That's why people are more passionate about college sports than they are about the NFL. That's why stadiums are bigger in college than the NFL. Because it's about your team, about your university, about where my family wanted to go. Where my grandfather had a dream of seeing Florida win an SEC championship. And you're taking that away so young kids can earn a dollar. That's not where I feel college football needs to go. Now, I mean, he's taking it to the extreme. There can be a base pay that students get, you know. But what is, is there's so much to unpack with the the things that he said. Um, I mean, just the classification of the players as students, athletes. Let's just call them players, right? Let's call them players because that's what they are, all right? Um, you know, there, there's not a, uh, they, there's they're not making any money, but the students are are putting in the blood, sweat, and tears while the university, the NCAA, takes all the money. Now, the inequity and in, in, in the, the balance of, of, of money is, is already there at the NCAA. It always has been. Bigger schools will build bigger facilities. We already know that. Bigger schools will put out more money in the recruiting. We know that. Bigger schools will hire more prominent coaches. And bigger schools will always be a higher percentage, um, you know, earners. Um, so let's, let, let's get out of here with, with that you know, ridiculous thing that Tebow was saying about, oh, it's not, it's going to be about uh, what university has the most money. I mean, you already, I mean, come on. Like, but anyway, he, he, as they, uh, as they say, he tried it. Okay. Um, but as to Tebow's other arguments, Tim Tebow was fortunate enough to grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth and he did not need any additional money. Great for him. Bravo. Bravo. But what about his teammates in Florida who did not have that benefit, who were not as fortunate as him? He's actually saying that those teammates and the players that they played against and every player who's participated before him and since him, right, should not have a choice uh, to earn money off of his or her own name when the NCAA is doing so hand over fist I mean are you serious Tim Tebow was around his teammates long enough to know what scholarships covered and what they didn't and what hardships remained for those students he was around it everybody around the team and everybody on his team was not of 
privileged like him? I mean, his argument is ridiculous. And I mean, did he forget? Did he forget it? the stuff that he's seen? Is the NCAA paying him that much that he would just come on national TV and spit out their talking points? If you remember back in 2012, Tim Tebow won in a trademarking thing of Tebow and the gesture that he used while praying on the field. He said at the time that any money earned from that trademark would not be for personal financial gain, but would instead go to the Tim Tebow Foundation. Did the NCAA donate some money to the Tim Tebow Foundation? What, I, what, what is this all about? Okay. Okay. Tebow has participated in several events in which he charged more than $150 for his autograph just as soon as he possibly could. Once he declared himself eligible for the NFL, okay, again, he has made money consistently, right? Even though he didn't need it. So, I mean, so, so he says, right? But, um, what, with Tim Tebow, he believes that his actions are above everything because he avoided profiting when he was in college. His lack of empathy for his fellow teammates and opponents is um, it's, it's pretty despicable. Okay, It doesn't justify the NCAA's current culture. Of exploiting athletes and um, the fact that a player of his caliber would come out and say these things completely damages his credibility and exposes his hypocrisy something needs to be worked out for these athletes and hopefully California will be leading the way and other states will follow so the NCAA will not be allowed to continue to exploit these men and women. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Dom K Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, if you miss any episodes of the show, RadioOnFire.com slash Diamond K is where you go. Premium subscribers, we need you and we love your continued support. Over 20 original programs here at Radio on Fire you get every week. And premium subscribers, you get special perks and benefits and exclusive shows and content for supporting the voice of Urban America, Radio on Fire, your man Diamond K. You can hit me up on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn at The Diamond K Show. And of course, booking information. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow.